Hi, this is Armando with the Boxing Corner. I just finished doing the uh, the Thurman and the Bach fight post the post fight video. So I'm gonna do the uh, the Keith Keith Thurman, the uh, Tavoris Cloud and uh, Bernard Hopkins uh, post video. I try to make it not too long. I try to keep them under like six minutes. Now I don't want to do a ten minute long video. Sometimes people get a little bored. Uh, I assume. But anyways, this is for Cloud's IBF title. It was a fight that um. I was somewhat excited. Um, a lot of Bernard Hopkins fans are probably going to tell me to fuck off and uh, probably call me a faggot or whatever you want to call me. But um, I'm a little bit Bernard Hopkins out, uh, to be honest. Um, you know, he was a great middleweight champ. You know, great champ overall. I'm sure when the time comes, he's going to be in the Hall of Fame and all the accolades he gets. But I'm a little bit Bernard Hopkins out. Nothing personal, just Bernard Hopkins out. So naturally, I was kind of going for Tavoris Cloud because of the certain fact that Tavoris Cloud is probably hoping him to win so they can you know, fight Dawson and fight Pascal and maybe Ward moves up and Kovalev and Cleverly and Bailu. I just wanted Cloud to win so he can have a title so that we can get more, for me, more exciting fights. Hopkins is very technical, masterful boxer. Um, just not been a fan of him. I, I just don't know why. Uh, I'm not calling him a dick. I'm not calling him a bad person, a bad fighter. It's just not my style, really. Um, and the potential, you know, of, of Cloud possibly find Dawson, Pascal, all the guys I just mentioned. Um, for room for Cloud, I didn't think he was going to knock him out. I, I felt Cloud was going to make him look old, kind of like Floyd and Shane Mosley, where... I felt Cloud was, you know, Cloud's got some power behind him, but I knew Hopkins was not going to be a walkover, and um, I was wrong in every facet of everything I just said. Um, Bernard Hopkins just put on a masterful um, technical boxing lesson against the Boris Cloud. The Boris Cloud did have a couple of moments. I'm not going to break down the, the fight round by round. Um, I used to do that in past videos, but. Most of the time, the videos that I do are more just opinion, uh, opinionated based, and on top of that, I sprinkle in with what happened during the fight. Um, Cloud is a very aggressive fighter. Um, he is a fighter that's very emotional. You know, he he's somebody that he fights, like I said, based on pure emotion. He likes to throw a lot of punches. You can tell the anger in his face when he throws. So he is a very aggressive, uh, emotional fighter. And against somebody like Bernard Hopkins, who is a somebody who likes to get inside your head and uh, just twist it in the ring, uh, I thought it's going to give Cloud problems. But I actually thought Cloud was going to pull off the win. Hopkins just pretty much just, um, I won't say he pays a shutout. Uh, I think uh, Cloud may, maybe would have, maybe one, maybe three or four rounds. But for the most part, I think uh, Hopkins definitely um, beat him. Uh, very much uh, clearly, there was a part. There was a uh, point in the fight. I think the fourth or fifth round where Hopkins landed a left, a quick left, while kind of Cloud was, you know, doing this little thing, and I guess he cut him, and they thought it was a shoulder, um, but it it was <clears throat> it was uh, cleared by the HBO panelists, the camera people, that he was actually cut, and um, Cloud fought with a little bit of urgency, but in the end, it was all Hopkins. Hawkins just figured him out. Um, like I said, Cloud had his moments where he would land punches here and there, but overall, Hawkins landed cleaner, sharper, crisper punches, and told this 26, 27 year old kid um, how to box. And um, a little bit disappointed, you know. I was really hoping Cloud would win so that we can get into bigger fights. But uh, maybe Hopkins. Oh, he proved now that he kind of is the big dog at 175. Um, should Dawson be above him? I, I don't know. I, I do really think Dawson is above Bernard Hopkins. But it's still, I think Bernard Hopkins has that name recognition. So I think people would try to gun for him. Um, even though he's 48. But he still gives a lot of these younger kids, a lot of these younger champs, uh, a hell of a run for their money because he beat Pascal. Yeah, he lost Dawson. And now he beat Tavoris Cloud. So, um, pretty interested on, on how that, that works out. Uh, there was a bit of a, I won't say a confront, no, confrontation isn't the right word. 
um, Dawson came out, not Dawson, Hopkins, uh, after his, uh, you know, pretty much before the scorecards, he went and uh, spoke to Andre Ward about something along the lines of, I don't want to fight you, or I want to fight you, uh, Showtime or HBO can't offer me in, any money, um, something like that. I think it was more like, um, I don't think he wants to fight Andre Ward, something of that nature. Now, I may be wrong, but when I saw it last night, he wasn't mic'd, so you can kind of sort of hear what he was saying. But um, Ward's moving up, we'll see, maybe they'll fight, maybe they won't. I like to see that fight happen, um, just for the sheer, you know, let's see how Ward does against somebody like that. I think Ward mimics him a little bit, but not too much. But um, overall, I was just pretty shocked that Bernard Hopkins did to Cloud what he did to him. I wouldn't say he completely whooped Cloud's ass, like, you know, humiliated him, but he definitely, um, he left a stamp saying, you know, I'm Bernard Hopkins, and, um, uh, I'm gonna take your 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 title from you, and that's that. And uh, congratulations to Bernard Hopkins. Um, we'll probably see a little bit more of him. Well, I'm pretty sure we're definitely gonna see some more of him. Uh, Cleverly, Kovalev, Pascal, um, Dawson. The Dawson books are already closed, so um, we'll see what happens. Uh, dude's 48 and he's got another title, so he's breaking his own damn record. So uh, congratulations to Bernard Hopkins. Um, that's pretty much all I gotta say. So, uh, thanks for watching. This is Armada with the Boxing Corner, and I'll see you next time.